mysterious dead artist. An up and coming art curator. An icy art queen. And an unapologetic art critic. Art imitates life. And sometimes life is hell. Netflix movie, Velvet Buzzsaw. In this interesting story, Dan Gilroy, writer-director, brings us a, an inspired new thriller with some impressive horror undertones. While this is much more of a suspenseful, slow burn thriller than a straightforward horror movie, when it delves into the horror aspects, it does not let us down. It's surreal and, and intense, and through the entire movie, I never, I never caught myself wondering, wait, why is this happening? The essence of how all of the supernatural stuff happens doesn't, or didn't seem to matter, because the story moved at a decent pace, which kept me interested, you know? The kills are all interesting and aesthetically inspired. And the fact that they happen to pretentious, arrogant art snobs <laughs> makes it all the better. Each of the kills utilizes a piece of art. And the entire movie is about pretentious art people. People who exploit artists for their greed. Um, all of the actors in this movie give excellent performances. Uh, John Malkovich is in it. Uh, Donnie Darko, he's great in it. I hate each and every one of them. That's how good their performances are. You know? The best actress I've ever seen is the stuck up pink wearing pink clothes wearing lady from the Harry Potter uh, I think it was five was it five might have been six I don't know the one that came in and put up all the rules she did such a good job at that role but I hate her and that's that's a true performance if you ask me <laughs> as our main characters go about the movie exploiting an unknown and recently deceased artist who, at the time of his death, requested all of his work to be destroyed. Uh, each of them begin to experience a supernatural terror uh, brought on by their own greed and 
what little truth you end up finding out about the dead artist, whose name is Ventral Dees. Excellent name. He utilizes his own blood and his own tissue to get the shadows and the darks in his paintings. And so it's never specifically said in the movie, but he lives on through his paintings, and his paintings are what project out the supernatural terror, essentially. This is a reality-bending, terror-laced script with a veritable who's who cast. Velvet Buzzsaw is an interesting foray into the bullshit world of art buying and critiquing. And how whilst art comes from life, sometimes life can be far more terrifying in a dog-eat-dog art begets life world. See what I did just right there was bullshit and sound interesting, which is what art critics and art sellers do. <laughs> Velvet Buzzsaw is a slow burn movie thriller, really, with an interesting unexpected supernatural twist to it. I'm going to give it three out of five uh, burritos. Uh, this movie certainly isn't for everyone, but the atmosphere and tension and uniqueness of the story uh, definitely piqued my interest when I was flipping through Netflix looking for something to watch. Uh, the filmmaker... He's the guy that did Nightcrawler. He knows how to build tension. And throughout the entire movie, it's just building and building. And every time one of the kills happens, it's, I wouldn't say unexpected, but it's definitely interesting. Even if it's a simple kill. There's not a lot of blood in the movie. There's not a lot of gore. But, I don't know. It was pretty good. I was, I, was, I was surprised. When I watched the trailer, you know, flipping through Netflix, got to it, and I was like, what is this? And watched the trailer, I was like, alright, I'm going to watch this, whether, you know, I do it for the 31 Nights of Horror or not. Because it looked interesting. And again, it's more of a thriller than a horror movie. But... I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. So, give it a shot. If you're looking for something dark and different, I'd probably like it more because of who dies in it. The characters that die, they're all, again, pretentious art snobs. And as a want to be artist myself, I hate art shows because you run into those type of people. And instead of appreciating art for art, they utilize art as a way to seem better than others. I don't know. My point. This is my view. But yeah. Velvet Buzzsaw on Netflix. Three out of five burritos, definitely worth a worth a watch if you're looking looking for something unique. All right. So uh, that's it for day eleven of thirty one days of horror. Mwahaha. <laughs> Come back tomorrow and see see what random shit we watch. <laughs>